Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase. We have possibly two of the most angry men in the 30K. We've got Angron and his best son. We've got Khan the Bloody. Uh, so first of all, two awesome 412 models from Games Workshop. Uh, really, really great set of aggressive, dynamic attacking poses, which for me is, is, a, is a, as a fan of, sort of like close combat armies, these two really do nod in the right direction for me. Um, these have been painted by Eric, one of the team members here at Siege. Again, really phenomenal models. Um, the good thing I like about them as well is that they've got more attention on the bases as well. So you've got some fallen enemies on the bases, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, interesting thing about this commission from our client is these two models are actually based on the Dornian Heresy. If you're unfamiliar with the Dornian Heresy, what the Dornian Heresy is, is that the loyalist Primarchs that you're aware of are actually traitors, and the traitor Primarchs that you're aware of are actually loyalists. So... We a couple of these photos have gone up on the socials already. And we had quite a few people comment saying, "Oh, why are the why are they not butchers' nails, etc., etc., etc." And the reason for that is is because in the Dawning Heresy, the World Eaters don't actually fall to corn; they remain loyal, and that's why on the base you will see the Imperial fists with the fist symbol with like a chaos star around it. So it's actually quite a, quite a, a alternate take on the Law and Heresy. Again, this is something that our client requested for us to do on the models, which we, uh, we, we've we done. Um, but really, really cool set of character models. Let's jump in and have a look at them. We're going to start with Khan the Bloody to start off with. Again, probably one of my favourite from the character series, just because of the absolute aggression of the pose. Again, really, really lovely model in this sort of alabaster white armour with a blue power pack and accents. Um, I do really like the, the use of the uh, triadic primary colour scheme on this. So you've got the red accent with the blood, the plasma coil, and also then you've got the blue and also you've got the yellow. And then we've got that neutral colour of the white armour of the World Eaters as well, which is just awesome. Um, really awesome model, just lots and lots of detail. I love the movement of Khan on this. I think he just looks absolutely like nobody is going to best him. Uh, but again, really great set of like uh, details across both of the armour on, on him. And then also you've got the... Uh, the uh, Imperial Fist, or the Traitor Imperial Fist, should I say, uh, that's got obviously quite an older type of older pattern of armor. Um, do love the base, so this is fully magnetized, so our client can take the model out of the base as well if need be, as well as the additional details they can be taken off. Um, but again, a really phenomenal character in a very aggressive pose. Um, a lot of people thought that without the Butcher's Nails, he looks like Dwayne the Rock Johnson, uh, or it could be they, uh, Jason Statham. I'll let you guys decide in the comments. Um, but really, really uh, cool sort of alternate take on this character, and that's Khan the Bloody. Next, we've got his angry dad. Um, we've got Angron. Again, uh, fully magnetized, so our client can take the model out of the out of the base. You've got obviously some, uh, some uh, Imperial Fists on there, and also you've got a Salamander here. Uh, again, you can see on the shoulder pads that kind of uh, the three-handed uh, sort of uh, traitor to Imperial Fist symbol that's been put on there. Um, and again, Angon's not got the butcher's nails. They've been completely filed off and smoothed off so that it allows for you to see the sort of the, the, the tattoos and things on his head a bit more, which we've obviously freehanded on there. Uh, again, I do love the uh, the use of the Imperial Fist kind of like stepping stone as well uh, on the base. I think that's quite a cool little bit. He's just like still using him as a levering, levering up to, to reach something else, which I think is quite good. But again, Angron in all of his angry glory, charging down the, uh, the, the traitorous Imperial Fist and Salamanders, which is something I never thought I'd say. But um, but yeah, really, really great model. I do love the cape as well with the chains and bits and bobs. And incidentally, our, our client requested for all the skulls and things to be taken off of there. So you can see that there's no skulls hanging from the, uh, from the cape. And that's to show that he's not collecting skulls for a certain angry god. Uh, which is quite cool. Uh, but yeah, really, really nice set of two miniatures uh, that we've completed for our client. Um, again, just uh, they're finished in an exquisite fashion here by Eric, one of the team members here at Siege. I do hope you like them ever so much. Um, if you'd like your characters painted by us here at Siege, we are character specialists. We do really thoroughly enjoy painting characters and painting them to a super high standard. So if you're interested in having a character completed with us, do not hesitate in getting in touch with us through the contact form found in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching the video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.